So I know one question that inadvertently comes up a lot is uh, it's tricky to navigate the licensing. Um, and I know we had a little bit of sidebar discussion about that earlier. Um, you know, one of the things that's really powerful is the free capabilities um, of Viva Learning. And so um, maybe it'd be useful just to have a really quick discussion on, you know, what people can do already with Viva Learning without necessarily having to go get budget and, you know, a whole deployment strategy around it. Um, uh, do you, would either of you like to share a little bit of insight there? <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, I, I was about to get into it, but um, I, I'll say in terms of licensing, when it comes to I do mean Viva specifically or um, the, I guess. I like, think Viva Learning. Yeah, because yeah. like, you know, oh, yes, yes, the okay. fact that so, you can have the app. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, Viva Learning. Well, so we talked about seeded content. Um, the, there's a really great aspect of Viva Learning where we've already done some of the work for you. So we're basically we've identified, okay, we publish content constantly on our uh, support site, right? So uh, Richard mentioned that's things like, hey, any Microsoft um, app or Windows training, or it's not just training, it's also like tips and tricks, troubleshooting, our entire website of content already feeds into Viva Learning for no additional cost. So every organization out there, if you've got Office or M365 today, you've got Viva Learning. We also include our administrative documentation. So our learn docs, uh, uh, those are, are filtered right, air fed right into Viva Learning. Um, some of the LinkedIn uh, learning courses, which is basically a curated list of content yeah. where we've kind it's, of- It's over 300 now though. There's a lot of courses yeah. on LinkedIn. And they're really I, good. I, yeah. I didn't yeah. realize that was really, increased kind of from before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of, we, we went out there and said, okay, like what are the typical things that we can, or not typical, mm -hmm. what are like the most, um, the well-liked courses across multiple types of topics. So some of it is like, yeah, Excel, you know, expert. And then there's other ones that are like how to be a good leader, right? So like some things are actually a little bit more business or like conceptual uh, learning. Um, and then um, you also have the ability to upload custom content. So those sort of four points. So it's our uh, support site docs with training and troubleshooting support for end users. We've got our learn docs for things like uh, certification training or uh, set up documentation for administrators. We've got the LinkedIn learning uh, curated courses, and then you've got the ability to have actually, this might have increased too, but um, before it used to be up to 5,000 courses you could host on SharePoint and feed right into Viva Learning. So if you've got, I, I know tons of customers, they've already got custom content from over the years, right? They're like, hey, we've we've got all these videos we still have, or you know, we've put together all these learn docs, like does this mean that they go out the window? And definitely not. You can absolutely, you know, um, basically it's just a SharePoint library and you configure it so that it's just formatted properly. It's not, it's not, you're not coding anything, you know, you're just identifying the right SharePoint library and linking it to Viva Learning. At no additional cost, you're already able to start feeding content in there. And I think this is a great way to start to drive adoption and get a feel for, like get a temperature check with your employees and say, hey, how effective is the engagement so far without you know, or limiting any of your cost. Um, and I say limiting because there's still a cost of time and energy, right? So it's really just uh, the time and energy that goes to kind of decide what content you want to put in there, what kind of effort you want to make to to start to drive engagement. But in terms of dollar amounts, it's already there for you. So start to engage with it today, start to leverage it. Um, and I think despite the fact that whether or not that becomes a heavily used tool for you and bringing in other content providers, I think it's still a great resource for the tools that you're using to get there anyway, because like I said, it's bringing together highly uh, curated and already constantly up to date and publishing all the up to date content that comes from our site right in your portal as our tools develop, you already have that. So if, hey, Teams gets another update, you already have the what's new in Teams. If um, you know the, the new Outlook is another big challenge, right? You already have all the new Outlook course content, use it right absolutely want to empower you so for all of that that comes included when we start to look at the paid module you can do this a la carte we also have mm -hmm. the ability to do the viva suite and so um typically i i would say when you go when you increase honestly more than like two modules that you're like hey there's viva learning and there's another one and we like the premium aspect you're already looking just at a see. positive investment yeah. <laughs> to just go and see. not joking that's not me just you know of course i'm a salesperson so i'm going to say that but it's legitimately true because the i have to think we have to think long term right i think 
that what we want to say is whether or not you're ready for all the modules today, which is unlikely because they serve so many various purposes. But should you desire, you say, hey, there's a couple of things that are going to be answers for us right now that we love. But down the line, you'll realize the further you digitally transform, the more you start to integrate and use these tools, and the more you realize that, hey, now that we've adopted learning, I feel like we're ready for these other modules. You're already licensed, and your cost of investment is still you know, much lower because you're already sort of set up for success. This is the same conversation we really have when we talk about the difference even between things like Office 365 versus Microsoft 365, because we're giving you all of these um, sort of tools to make sure that not only are you productive, but we're thinking about you in terms of your secure and product, sorry, the security and compliance of your data too. So, it's, so we start to think long-term big picture. And so I think when you're looking at the Viva Suite, while a la carte is a fantastic start, um, I think pausing, talking to those account teams or your sales reps or doing a little bit of research will quickly show you, you know, how much you might be able to start to take value away from, from the Viva Suite. I love I love the tactic of uh, taking like IT or champion programs or other things where people have that need for those digital uh, resources, yeah. those learning materials, yeah. and piloting with them because you can. You're yes. right. You can deploy it per user license. You can deploy the app. You can even you know do the free one and then deploy that mm -hmm. to a targeted subset of people um, to kind of control like, hey, this is our official yeah. capital L learning. Here's our lowercase the, L. The tab in your channels. Yeah, the, yeah that's, that's one big one that I, that you know, we don't have time to say everything. But right. And I think that's the tough part in these is like there's it's that one little feature that takes everything just like 10 Love miles it. forward. And so that the something that I found to be really effective with Viva Learning is. If the learning app is still too much, I found that what's really great is like the empowering of, of employees. I'll tell people, hey. Well, now that you have your content here, what I really love is different teams and departments will take it upon themselves to say, hey, well, I don't necessarily have the ability to be a learning admin and create a whole learning path, right, let's say, um, but I can go create a tab in my team where I'm collaborating yeah, pick with my some learning and put there. Yeah, I love that. And you add all of those different courses there and you've basically created, you know, a curated content catalog. And so not only for what's today, but what about when you have a new employee on board into that team? I now I don't have to, you know, um, sort of struggle with leadership to make sure that we're getting all those custom courses. Then I can say, hey, yes, here's all the things that you need to do for compliance that you're they're assigning to you. But also here are ways that you can be excellent that we've learned just in the last six months with this team go. Right. And then that grows and develops. And so you get to really influence that over time. And anyway. Got a lot of thoughts there, but <laughs> no, I I think it's great. Like you know, to your point, the, each feature has its own story, right? Why yes, does it exist? Yeah. It, it solves a immediate problem and connecting those learning experiences. Any any other comments from you, James, before we wrap up, or or questions that you commonly get? Um, I no, I think Jamie kind of covered the the gamut there. Like that was kind of really good, like broad overview of you know everything that you know why people should should go into this and and kind of the the path for adoption um i think that you can really when you're getting into viva you can really kind of tailor it to your needs at the moment so it looks daunting with all these modules there but like jamie said take it one step at a time just break it down into small pieces start adopting it and you'll start seeing the value in, in getting into it so that's that's what i would take away there yeah awesome and i just dropped in our just that public the, Richard did a nice screenshot of it, but I think my, Microsoft marketing can be a lot sometimes, but this <laughs> is the one area they nailed it. And I love this marketing page. So it's it's nice to be able to break down kind of what comes seated and then what you're paying for and then those mini suite options as yeah. well.